Hello, welcome to this tutorial from Roland DG in which we're going to go through the layout tab within the job settings of Roland VersaWorks. If I open Roland VersaWorks, I'm just going to bring in a job which we'll use for today's demonstration. Here I just have a picture of the Roland DG Academy logo with a cut line around the outside. So to access the job settings, I can either use the settings icon within the bottom left hand corner of the VersaWorks home screen. I can double click on the name of the file within the job queue. I can double click on either of the preview images up here or I can go to job settings. A new window will pop up in which we can look at all of the variable job settings that we can go through. There are 10 tabs down the left hand side. Then there's an options box and then a preview area. In the top right hand corner here we also have a number of icons within a toolbar which we can use uh, throughout these different tabs within the job settings. Inside this toolbar we have undo and redo, a selection tool, uh, a pan tool or a hand tool for when you are zoomed in so you can pan around. We have zoom in and zoom out in which you can draw a zoom in window or you can click to zoom in a certain degree. We have rearrange tiles and align tiles which are handy for when you're using the nesting feature which is covered in another tutorial. We have fit to width and fit to page which will fit to the width of the uh, the preview page within the preview window or fit to length and then we have zoom in and zoom out uh, again by single click buttons. If I use the drag tool I can actually relocate the image We're on the page here and as I said we have the undo buttons to, to change that. So first of all, we have the media settings box up here. And underneath the size, we have a drop down list in which we can choose a predefined size for the, the paper or the media that we're using within our machine. Or we can use a custom role. And if we hit the get media with button, what will happen is VersaWorks will take the reading from your machine. So the width box here will change to the red width from the machine which will be located just outside your outer pinch roll of the cut machine. Now we know that the preview that we can see here is accurate to the size of the sheet that we're going to be working with. Now we have many options of how we can scale position and change the properties of the image that we're using here. You can deselect or reselect the image. If I select the image have the option to scale the image by a percentage. Center, you'll see that it'll change. You may have noticed there that the image rotated itself 90 degrees because at 200% it was wider than the width of the of the page that we're using. You can see here 754.94 is bigger than 716 here. We just go back to 100%. I can also choose a specific specific width or a specific height for the image. So if I uh, change this height, let's say 200 millimeters, it will keep the width proportional to the height. It will, it will not distort or skew the image within Roland VersaWorks. If you want to do that, you would have to do that in your artwork software first. We also have the option to fit the image to the size of the media we have available. If I click this button, you'll see that it'll just fill the size of the spread. Obviously I could make that image go bigger on the paper as well if I just rotated it 90 degrees. That will depend on the orientation of your file. I also have the option to move the image along the X or Y axes. Uh, you can either drag manually using, using your cursor to select the image, hold down the mouse button and then drag or you can choose the X and Y axes. So I could choose an offset if I so wish in the X and the Y axes. It's also possible to center on the media here. This can be particularly handy uh, if, you, if you're trying to get a, the best layout of your image with even um, leftover media on either side. Or well, often it will give you, in theory, the best quality print as well coming from the middle of the machine. Under the print properties box here we have the copy in which we can choose 
the amount that we wish to print of this image. Um, the copy is limited at 250 to save on processing time when the, the preview is generated over here on the right hand side. If we just go back to two here, you can see that it's stacked these on top of each other instead of side by side, as it will not fit two images side by side on my media width. If I just change the scale here to, let's go to 75%, and then rearrange the tiles, I should be able to fit two side by side. You can then obviously play with the width and the height or the scale in order to fit uh, with a better arrangement within your page. So I may wish to go a little bit larger to make the most of the space that I have available on my page. If I imported a PDF, for instance, with multiple pages, the page range box here would become active. And you can choose if you wish to print the whole range or whether you just wish to select a certain number of pages within that range. The tile spacing here is a default at four millimeters and you can increase or decrease this as you wish. Sometimes it's nice to have a, a larger space between your, your images if you're going to be trimming by hand afterwards. Or to reduce media wastage, you sometimes can go lower. If you mirror the, the image, this does exactly what you think it would. If you watch the preview here, it just flips the image and mirrors it. This can be very handy for doing window graphics onto a clear film or perhaps some, some heat transfer or uh, garment transfer processes as well. The orientation down the bottom here gives us the option to flip the image in 90 degree increments. If I flip the image upside down like this, this means that it will actually come out of my printer looking the right way up. So the top left corner here of the preview window will actually be the bottom right hand corner when you're looking front on on your print machine. And that's it for the features within the layout tab of Roland Verseworks. Thank you.